Hi, thank you very much for clicking on to a general read for me. So this is going to be like an energy read. I don't really know what to say, but like, I'm going to just pull some cards for y'all and just see whatever shows up, shows up. This could already be playing out. So it could be confirmation or just some insight for somebody. What's come, I'm going to ask what's coming towards y'all. What is coming towards the collective? What are they needing to know? What's coming towards them? So we got this eight of cups that came out. For some people, it's like you could be um, getting some type of confirmation. It's like paying attention to the signs and synchronicities about you being on the right path. And with, with everything that's like going on, there could be some distractions that you may meet along your path. And I feel like Spirit's saying like stay focused, like stay on your path um, with this eight of cups that showed up. Uh -uh. Okay, so we got this Ace of Wands that showed up. So yeah, this is confirmation. Um, if you've been feeling like possibly feeling like left out in the cold or it's kind of giving like a loner type of energy with this eight of cups that came out. And usually it's sometimes that's just how it is. It's like, you know, it's like when you rock, if you're walking a different type of path from like the people around you, you may feel kind of like left out in the cold or it's like people could look at you as like a loner, like almost like you don't want to deal with nobody, but that's just not the case. It's like spirit could just be like showing you signs or you're receiving messages about you needing to stay focused like on this path that you on there's going to be some type of good news that comes in with this ace of wands that showed up also too i'm seeing it as like a new beginning as well now for some people you can have walked away from my offer as well um from what i'm seeing because i'm kind of reading the cards like back and forth because the way it's looking it looks like possibly something that was handed to you. You could have walked away from it. Um, a masculine earth sign could be um, be very significant too. But let me see what else comes out. Give me clarity on this Eight of Cups. What is this Eight of Cups energy about for the collective? Yeah, trust your intuition surrounding um, you receiving any type of offers or like opportunities too, because it's it's really easy to be almost like led astray or being steered off your path. Give me clarity on this Eight of Cups for the collector. What is this Eight of Cups about? Also, too, I'm seeing it so where for some people, your intuition, it's almost like the um, like what your surroundings look like or like what you could be seeing along your path. It may not be matching up quite well with what your intuition is telling you. So it's almost like you're searching for the truth with the hermit card showing up here. But it's like the answers that you're seeking there within you. But it looks like someone's searching for the truth along their path. That's what it looks like. So there's definitely a need to trust your intuition or like follow your intuition at this time. Let me see what else comes out. Give me clarity on this, um, the hermit for them. Give me clarity on the hermit. You could have found out some type of shocking news too. It's almost like some type of information that you could have found out um, in regards to like the path that you're on now for some people you may be feeling like a sense of there could be like a sense of lack or possibly just like um they need to have faith it's like you could be lacking faith at this time and there is a need to stay the course it may not look like you're on the right path but you really are it's like you could be about to find out some type of information with the hermit card showing up but it's giving like shocks and surprises or some type of unexpected um it's like you discover something like unexpectedly along your path. Don't know quite what it is, but it looks like it's some type of information. That's what it looks like. Give 
the crown chakra for some people your um crown chakra could be very active right now you could have also too like received a download because you know how you receive um any type of information um that's letting you know that you are on the right path it could have just been a simple download for someone that's what it looked like too but i see the crown chakra like it's almost like somebody crown chakra like done blown <laughs> it looked like the crown chakra done blown off like that's what it looked like Give me clarity on this Eight of Cups for the collective. What is this Eight of Cups energy about? Yeah, Nine of Swords showing up here too. With this Nine of Swords energy, for some people, like right now on your path, you could be finding out or like discovering certain things that's like very shocking whether they just be like in your dreams or it's like you receiving downloads or it's like you just come across something that's like very shocking that's definitely what's going on right now it's like things are definitely it's like 2023 is ending out pretty crazy um very shocking okay but um with the nine of swords coming out yeah for some people this information that you could have found out um has you in your head what is not a source energy coming out? It's like fear, but it's like nothing to fear. I'm gonna see what this Ace of Wands is because it looks like some good news coming in. Let me see. Give me clarity on this Ace of Wands. Yeah, this good news is bringing in a lot of hope. You're going to have a peace of mind once you receive this good news. And it's coming in from the divine. It's like a divine hand um, giving you this good news. Or it could be something very exciting, too. Um, also, too, I'm seeing it to where it's like a new beginning for some people, too. But it's like new energy being presented to you. Give me clarity on this Ace of Wands for the collective. What is this about? But I feel like this good news is going to let you know. It's like the confirmation that you need to let you know that you're on the right path. With the Six of Swords coming out. It's like you're divinely guided. Give me clarity on this Ace of Wands. For the collective. What is this Ace of Wands about? Yeah, Spirit saying trust your intuition. It's like don't believe nothing at this time. Like seriously. Because it's like the, how things are playing out. So where um, maybe possibly some things have not been revealed to you quite yet. So I feel like spirit saying it's actually safer to wait, even though you may feel kind of like stuck or there could be some type of indecision possibly um, along your path right now. And hopefully this really help y'all out because I feel like some people could have needed to hear this, honestly. But um, yeah, it's almost like do not even trust what you see right now, like with your physical eyes. There could be a need to like tap into your intuition, possibly even like meditate two from what i'm seeing let me see what else comes out give me clarity on this ace of wands yeah two of wands showing up here so like yeah it's like waiting and know that you're in partnership with spirit too it's like for some people it's like you could be needing to stand firm in regards to possibly it's like any type of outside guidance that you're receiving and I'm talking about like outside of these terrorists. It's like when you walk in your day-to-day -day life or whatever and you're not watching reads. It's like the things that you could be seeing, the messages you could be receiving. It is actually safer to wait until you get some type of like clear confirmation or clarity about what it is um, that you could be like waiting for. That's what it looks like too. But I feel like too, for some people, you could be needing to trust your partnership with spirit at this time as well um from what's showing up here let me see what else comes out Be careful about who you could be sharing your energy with because this five of swords came out and the seven of wands <clears throat> showed up here too. 
and it kind of seems like it could be in a romantic sense, y'all. Like, yeah, Spirit is saying that it's almost like if you come across somebody or if you meet somebody and it's almost like it ain't no type of signs. Or, <laughs> excuse me, but it's like it ain't no type of signs or wonders about this person coming into your life. Def it's like stay clear, especially with the seven of, the seven of wands. It's like stay clear of that energy because look, it's like the enemy is trying to um, distract you off your path. So it's like pay close attention to the type of communication that you could be receiving from certain energies too. Because with this five of swords, this is like a bad omen. Like when it comes towards like a love reach, y'all, it's like somebody that you ain't supposed to be dealing with seriously with this five of swords energy coming out and it's actually clarifying the ace of wands so it's like masculine like a male energy so there could be a need to protect your energy at this time too it's like don't believe just don't um don't fall victim into possibly like somebody telling you something good it's like they telling you everything you want to hear right so just stay clear about that it's like ask the divine to show you some type of sign or give you some type of confirmation about certain type of energies that you could have around you with the seven of wands coming out so let me see what else shows up So yeah, we got the two of cups that came out. This could be in regards to like a soulmate connection for somebody with this two of cups, but it's like someone that you have a spiritual connection with. But I feel like spirit saying, be careful about who it is that you could be bonding with or like sharing your energy with too with this two of cups that came out. Because with this five of swords energy showing up here, it's kind of like a um, deceptive type of energy. It's like you could have been dealing with somebody or you could be... Um, Maybe you dealt with somebody who was not showing their hand. It's come, kind of like just playing around, like playing in your energy, pretty much. That's what it seemed like. I'm going to actually, I wish I had my other cards over here because I ain't even planning on doing a collective read today. But um, let me clarify this real quick. Wait, I'm going to pull a Moonology card. So we have this card, Surrender to the Divine. This is the full moon energy. I'm going to get another card, but there could be a need to, um, like there could be, a, I don't know exactly what it is that you could be needing to surrender to. I was asking for confirmation on this read. Let me see what else comes out. Two would show up here, but it says the energy is gaining momentum. This is the waxing moon. But some type of answer or like confirmation that you need is coming in. It looks like it could be coming in as like a form of communication because the full moon in Gemini is showing up here. Yeah, for some people, it's like you, you've been seeking out the truth in regards to a certain situation, like um about you possibly being on the right path. That's what it looks like too. But um this card right here, a personal issue reaches um, resolution. This is the full moon in Cancer. Cancer energy could be significant, but um, it looks like something's coming to a close, possibly in regards to a situation. This could be in regards to like you waiting to receive some type of information, but just know that any type of issue, personal issue that you have, it's going to be like a peaceful outcome to it.
I'm going to pull one of these self-care cards. So we have um, this card number. Well, it says number one on it and it says intention. Just pay close attention to like people's real intentions towards you because it kind of looks like for some people now you could be currently dealing with somebody who they're not showing their true hands. Like maybe they're not really sharing their true intentions with you. That's what it looks like. And it's, it's um, specifically like a masculine energy for someone but it says, what if the only resolution you made was to love yourself more? So the spirit saying love yourself first. It's like put you number one because it look like a male energy is like definitely playing in somebody's energy. That's what it's looking like. It's almost like a person that you could be dealing with. And it could be multiple people too for somebody. But pretty much it's almost like they could be um, showing up as a distraction to you. Uh-oh. All these cards fell. So we got mine that came out. There could be a need to meditate first on this situation too. It's almost like before you say yes to anything, it's like try to meditate on it. Cause I feel like spirit's like kind of warning somebody about this um, male energy that is showing up. It could be feminine too, but specifically it's showing where it's like a male energy with the ace of wands coming out. So yeah, that's how I know. But it says you are the master of your inner world and you decide how the outer world affects you cultivate a calm inner state so i feel like two spirits saying protect your peace too at this time surrounding certain energies it's, it's like you staying in your little bubble but it's a mind card that came out so yeah that is what's showing up here um i'm going to end the read here y'all but that was just like a little bit of insight on the um energy that could be going on right now